name is Todd. Hi, my name is Emma. We're here at South Walker Elementary Summer Tech Camp. Miss Keenan is taking us on a trip through time to important historical events. Are, Are you ready, ready to go? go? In the Renaissance, much later in history, Leonardo da Vinci painted the School of Athens. It gives us into the glimpse of what a Greek city's school may look like. And Athens was a major Greek city, and unlike many other cities of its time, it valued knowledge, art, and culture. The Greeks and Romans had a polytheistic re religion, meaning they believed in many gods. They worshipped their god by making sacrifices and building temples. This is one of the temples to honor the main god, Zeus. He became the god of gods after he overthrew his father, Kronos. Greek and Roman cities had amazing architecture. You may know them for their columns. There are three main kinds of column styles, Dirk, Iconic, and Corinthian. Some of the temples are still standing today. Greek and Roman times were filled with culture. The people expressed themselves through painting, sculpting, architecture, and many other forms of art. What were the Salem Witch Trials? The Salem Witch Trials were a time where innocent young women and men, girls and boys, put in prison and whipped to death. Young girls and boys were accused of being a witch if one, a cat, two, a mole, three, lived in certain places, Four, someone got sick. What was the Salem Witch Trials? The Salem Witch Trials was a time that girls were, even if they thought about it or dreamed about being a witch. 100 girls were accused and 20 were actually executed. So in conclusion, the Salem Witch Trials were a very bad idea. The Boston Tea Party happened on December 16, 1773. It started because the American colonists didn't want to pay for British tea because there was a tax on the tea. How about we head there now? One night, the colonists dressed as Indians and got on three British ships. Once they got on three ships, the Beaver, Dartmouth, and Eleanor. Colonists started to throw tea into the harbor. This is what they call the Boston Tea Party. They were in a fight. Someone supposedly said fire. When the first shot rang out, others fired for killing five colonists. This was one of the events that led to the Revolutionary War. Another thing that led to the Revolutionary War was the Boston Tea Party. It was on December 16, 1773. American colonists were upset with Britain for imposing taxes without their consent. To get back at them, they dumped 342 chests of British tea into the sea. Today, that would be worth more than $1.7 million. The British spent all of the money. When the British ran out of money, they started to tax the colonists because there were many acts, including the Sugar Acts, that wanted money from the British. Therefore, the British had to make a law to start taxing colonists. The colonists didn't like that law, so the first shots were fired in the Battle of Lexington in Concord on July 29, 1775. That was the official start of the Revolutionary War. The Great Depression started from a stock market crashing from, over, from consumer overconfidence. This caused the Great Depression to happen for approximately 10 years. Here are two boys during the Great Depression. They are dirty because their parents cannot afford water to at least rinse themselves. Here are a crowd of kids. They are mad because they are poor and don't have money. They may need money to get food and water, so they are holding signs for their dad's get jobs. Here are some people that don't have homes because of the Great Depression. They also don't have food or water. The Depression ended after World War II because the stock markets are up and running again, and people got their jobs back. The Twin Towers opened on April 4, 
1873. The, building, the buildings were so big, they could hold 50,000 people. They were the heart of New York City's financial district. Both buildings were amazing places to be. To build the World Trade Center, it cost $400 million in 1973. Today, it would have cost $2.3 billion, which is a lot of money. On September 11, 2001, terrorists seized planes and crashed them into the Twin Towers. The damage cost at least $10 billion, which with all of those disastrous things, only 18 people were rescued alive from the World Trade Center of New York City. Attack on the World Trade Center resulted in the largest loss of life by a foreign attack on American soil. The damage took over 1.8 million tons of wreckage. It took nine months to clean up everything. Where the Twin Towers were located, there is now a memorial in New York City. Every year on September 11th, we now celebrate the people who passed away from this terrible disaster.